everyone, I'm Yane. I've been sharing a couple of videos and I've been getting a nice number of views. So I thought that maybe it's about time that I start sharing some things about myself so that we're not so much of strangers anymore, just so we can get to know each other a little bit, you know? So this one is 25 random facts about me. Okay, fact number one, I love sitting on the floor. I don't care where I am. Well, I do care where I am actually. If I'm like out in public, of course I'll go find a chair to sit in. So anywhere in like a house setting, I just always feel most comfortable on the floor. I always put my legs up in the chair or I sit with my legs crossed. I don't know, I think it's a little person thing. We just like feeling like whatever this means. <laughs> okay, my next fact is I have a birthmark on my neck. I can't. Funny story is when I was younger, I guess like around high school, my mom used to always say, what's that on your neck? This woman acts like she didn't know me all my life. Like you didn't see this when I was growing up. Any type of mark on your neck as a teen, you already know what people are thinking. And I had to remind her like every month, like mom, are you serious? To the point where I thought she was joking, but she was really, she really forgot I had a birthmark there. Three, I love perfumes. Smelling that scent, having a nice scent in general as a woman or a man, it's just so appealing. It does something to the brain. It helps you to be remembered. It makes people pay attention. It makes people feel like you're clean, you're approachable, you're, you get where I'm going with this. Uh, next one, I'm a little bit of a nerd. I enjoy learning. I like school and kindergarten. I, my dad said all my certificates. Middle school, I had all types of honors. High school, I had um, good grades. Except for one year, I think. One, one and a half years, maybe two. I don't know, but I just wasn't paying attention as much. It wasn't that I couldn't. I just, just being a kid, you know? College honors every year whatever i got the police called on me my, my first time in paris <laughs> oh i didn't do anything illegal it's just that i'm gonna let my mom tell you this why she don't answer she never answers when i need her hello hey mom one question from my memory i'm trying to think i remember getting the police called on me in paris did that happen in paris yeah I don't remember no police being called on you in Paris. Because then you think we were oh, lost. Oh, yeah, but I don't know if that was just hotel security. Oh, well. Yeah, because it didn't go on too long before y'all were recovered. It's just the time. Before we were recovered, we were never lost. <laughs> y'all were lost. How were we lost, Mom? I knew where I was. I lost track of y'all. You remember how that happened? Yeah. How it happened? Y'all went into the, y'all went swimming. And the time that I went to the pool looking for y'all, y'all must have went a different direction to get out. And I'm sitting there just sitting, I'm watching Taken <laughs> on my phone for the first time. Y'all were asleep. We asked if we can go to the pool. Both of y'all, I believe, said yes. Maybe y'all were sleep talking. They both told me yes, and they were looking at me when they said it. So. I mean, I guess they were sleep talking. I couldn't tell, but as long as I knew I got permission, I couldn't get in trouble. Come and find out, still got in trouble. We went to the pool and then you came down looking for us, but we were in the sauna room. When we came out of the sauna and we walked, we're going back upstairs to the hotel room, it was police there. And I swear it was police because I was scared out of my mind seeing these uniforms. <laughs> that was so not funny. I was so upset. I felt so embarrassed. I was upset too because I couldn't find my child. Bye, mom. <laughs> I love you too. Love you, Mom. When we were on our way to Paris, it was her first time watching Taken. And anybody that's seen Taken, they know that the setting is in Paris. So, you know, Paris, first time, kids. I was about 12. It was really funny though. Next fact, I hate returning things. I get things and they're too big. Or I know females, we all did it. We trying to order online and then we get, um, two of the same thing by accident. I don't wanna go through the trouble of trying to send things back, find the correct address, waiting for my money to be refunded on my credit card. I don't feel like all of that. So most of the time I'll either just keep it and make it work or I'll like give it to one of my sisters or I'll sell it to somebody. Normally I don't sell it cause that's just too much to work by itself as it is, but I'm not a fan of returning anything unless it's absolutely necessary then or if something's broken yeah that because that definitely wasn't my fault so yeah next fact 
I know how to sew clothes. It, it was when like the African prints, heritage, tribal prints were really like, popular. Everybody had like those big maxi skirts and I wanted one. And they were running about $80. I didn't have money like that, not for a skirt that I could make myself. Everybody was just like, can I get one? And I just was like, a light bulb kind of went off in my head and I just started making clothes ever since then. Um, I don't know how to attach like buttons like super neatly or how to attach a zipper super neatly or like as people would want it to be like super secure. So i only been making clothes for myself. I've never made clothes for like a client or anyone other than like my friends because it could be a hustle but I just don't feel like it. I'm okay with my clothes being not perfect if that makes sense. Next one. I spend most of my money on experiences rather than like material items. I include food and experiences too because I like to go out to eat and when I go out to eat I don't I don't know like I like chilies and um Olive Garden and things like that but I'm I'm kind of spoiled like my dad spoiled me a little bit and he always takes me to these expensive places and um I don't know he took me to Fleming's, Devon's um capital grill like i just love places like that i love the customer service the hospitality environment i like the music in the background i like the dim lights i like stuff like that i'm not really into name brands and high-end things so it's just like i mm, i think that's a waste of money to me it's a waste of money trips fun times hang with my friends that's just what i like to do with my money when I get it speaking of start saying f's i'm used to having a get where like the air goes through and it's if you think I'm like talking weird when I say f food or whatever, it's just my mouth, my lips getting stuck. I look, I don't know. Let me get speaking of food, my favorite food is pasta and spaghetti, rice. I like a lot of starches. I like seafood too. Seafood is always number 10 and this is so funny for people to hear me say, but I hate doing hair. I just mm. People say I do a nice job. I do my little sister's hair because I have to, but I hate doing hair. I think the main reason why is because I take so long and I'm such a like, I'm not a perfectionist, but when I'm doing hair, I feel like I'm a perfectionist. Don't ever ask me to do your hair. Don't ever ask me to do nothing as far as hair. Please don't. I'll give a couple referrals though. If anybody would like to have their hair done. When I was younger, I always got teased about my last name my last name is jackson like now everybody acts like they love michael jackson and the jacksons and janet so great and whatever but during the time that he was alive it was so many jokes about him being a child molester and just going after little boys and things like that so they always were like <laughs> and then everybody know that song i'm sorry miss jackson Next fact, I have four tattoos. Let's go in order. That's my first one. <laughs> That's my first one. I snuck and got it. I was like, I don't want to say the age I was. I was real, real young. But my mom didn't really care. My dad wasn't happy about it. I was so paranoid. I just told on myself. I didn't even wait for her to find out. I just went right in her room the same day I got it. Hey, mom, look. Just all weird and like giddy. So she was like, oh, how'd you do that? Because it didn't cross her mind like, oh, Yane got a tattoo. I was a goody two shoes. I might have been a little bit sneaky, but nothing bad, you know? So she was like, um, how'd you do that? And I'm like, mom, it's real. <laughs> and the fact that I got a cross, it's a cross. The fact that I got a cross, she kind of didn't get mad because it was like a, like a spiritual thing. But she didn't say nothing else about it after that. She was like, oh, that's cute. And just left me alone. Then I have um, this one. Everyone asks me if it's a breast cancer thing. And no, it's just a regular bow. It's red. I just wanted something small and cute. So it doesn't really mean anything. I just thought it was cute. Next one is that one. That one, just a cute design that I wanted. This one is in Latin. It says, wink it, quise wink it. Which means he who conquers himself conquers all. It was my high school motto, but they tried to translate it and say that it meant she who conquers herself conquers all, but it doesn't mean she anything. Yeah, I like this because one of my main values is self-control. I really feel like 
if you conquer yourself, you really can conquer all. Like, I didn't just get this because I thought, oh, my high school's close to my heart, because it really isn't. But it's just the point that self-control is very, very important. If you can master self-control, you can master anything in this world. Next pick, my favorite candy is ginger lemon gummies by Haribo. I heard that ginger's good for you. I don't know if ginger is really in the candy, but we're gonna act like it is, and we're just gonna keep it pushing. I don't like having a phone. People always say I don't call them back, or I take too long to return a phone call text messaging is normally um annoying i like facetime though i think facetime is cute it's cool if i didn't have a phone it wouldn't really mean much to me however i am attached to my laptop next fact i would choose a family outing over any type of like turn up event any type of party any day like i would choose my family over everything i like being around like our different personalities and the fact that we can just feel comfortable around each other we can talk about things with like the the idea in the back of our heads that we don't have to be in competition we don't have to put up our wall for like security i just feel like i just love the feeling of love beneath everything that's going on next one I like to cook and it's two reasons number one because I like food like I love all types of food so yeah that's one reason and the second reason is because my dad is a really really good cook he can cook anything listen my dad does no wrong to be better than him cooking that's my goal but if I can just get close to his skills I'm fine next fact is I use baking soda for everything Baking soda. I got baking soda. I got baking soda everywhere, and like it's really good for a lot of things. I'm not gonna tell y'all what I use it for because it's just a lot. But if you just look it up, you'll find some reasons why you would want to use it too. Baking soda is the bomb. I am terrified of bugs. People are like afraid of like things like mice and whatever. I'm afraid of mice too, but like bugs are so much worse. Like they're so much worse they're small they creepy crawly they get in the smallest places like i wouldn't even feel comfortable to like get a spray and like shoot and kill it like nothing i i just i can't i had this idea in my brain that if i was to shoot and kill a bug they would like send their family and friends like a some type of signal or like memo where like they would know that i did it and they would come back and get me because i will always see a bug whenever like nobody else was home so they would think that I was crazy, like I was lying or something, or like they're just like, you're so paranoid, that's why. Like you believe that you'll see a bug every time and that's why you see it. I don't understand how that even works, but my thing is like, whatever. And that's the scariest thing about it because there's nobody there to help me. I have such a bad phobia with bugs. Like my mom was talking about, I might need like a professional or somebody to like help me get over it. I don't, see what I mean? Oh my god, wait, nobody else would believe this. Look at this, look at this. I'm talking about y'all, and here you come, crawling up the thing. I'm gonna just go to the next one, because we ain't about to do this. Next fact, I love being outside. The last one contradicts this one, because I'm pretty sure it's like, oh, well, it's bugs outdoors, how are you outside? <laughs> but you don't see, like, crazy things outside i know it contradicts what i was saying i know i know i know i just like being like in places where i can like watch the water or like riding my bike running walking downtown i just like being outside period when you outside you just look at life as a whole and you kind of just forget about the things that's going on around you next fact is one thing that i take very serious is being present in the time that i'm in it goes back to me saying i don't i wouldn't care if i had a phone i like the fact that people are present and they're not like worrying about their phone or thinking about something somewhere else and they're like dazing at you but they're not really hearing what you're saying next one is i love all types of music so i love of course r b and hip-hop but i can listen to country music i can listen to of course like i can listen to gospel i can listen to techno um classical music soul jazz i think r&b is so jazz i can listen to anything like piano music i can listen to anything it depends on what mood i'm in and that's the thing that's the thing about music and art in general you can't say oh i like this type but don't like that type it's kind of just what you're feeling that day what you're going through what you're dealing with like depending on what you like at that moment that's how it is for me the next fact is i'm very awkward 
it's maybe like three different people around me one third of them might think that i'm outgoing the other group might think that i'm really shy and then there's another group of people that know that i'm kind of like awkward or whatever i think i am outgoing because i am awkward and i'm trying to i'm like very knowledgeable about that and like i know the fact that i am awkward so it's like I try to not be that and I purposely work on my communications and interpersonal skills like on a daily all the time but and over time I, I've been growing out of it I think it has a lot to do with the way I was like uh, raised I don't know I feel like I wasn't very verbal when it came to others but sometimes it does come back out and it does make me feel awkward and I have been getting through that because it's not fun this is a big one I hate repeating myself I really, really do. And it's something that my mom was just talking to me about the other day. Like, she's saying that I need to grow patience, which I believe I have a lot of patience. I just don't like repeating myself. Because when someone says, huh? I just shut down completely. It's just a thing. It's a thing. I. It's just a thing. It's just a thing. Out of me and my sisters, I am the obnoxious one. It's kind of funny because I'm like the smallest one. I'm the middle out of me and my sisters. And I'm the smallest one, but I am the most obnoxious, I think. My little sister, she's really like nonchalant. She's the nonchalant one. My older sister, she can be, she can be talkative. She can be mean. I will call her like the mean one. She's not mean like nobody wants to be friends with her type of mean, but she can be mean. I'm the one that like always comes around trying to make like a good situation out of something always trying to like joke around play around dance be funny number 25 this one's kind of funny my last one is i used to be in love like i used to be in love with floyd mayweather i thought that he was like the best person alive if i didn't change my mind about things me and him would be married at this point like I didn't even know the slightest thing about boxing. I didn't really watch it for that. I watched it for him. You made it to the end of the video. I thank you so much for watching. See you later.